Hello, good morning viewers. This tutorial is for the kids. I am only here to reveal a particular secret. In one of my previous lessons, I have shown you how to divide numbers by five. But how is it possible? That is what I want to reveal in this tutorial. Okay, we have only three problems here, or three examples. The first one is 70 divided by five. The result to this problem is nothing but 14. All you have to do is to eliminate this zero and double the first digit here. Secondly, we have 220. Just eliminate this zero and double this number and you have 44. Lastly, if the number do not contain um, zero, all you have to do is to double it first. If you double this number, you have 64, 64. But you know this number naturally has a decimal point to the end. Just bring it backward once. So we have 6.4. But how is it possible? That's what I want to reveal in this tutorial. Remember equivalent fractions. If you have 1 over 2, this is the same thing as 6 over 12. Why? Because if you multiply 1 by 6, you are going to obtain 6. And if you multiply 2 by 6, you are going to obtain 12. What does this mean? It means that so far you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same value, the output is always equivalent to the initial value. And this is the same thing for this one. Let me show you. The first one is 70 divided by 5. You know we eliminated this 0. And how can we eliminate it? It's by dividing by 10. So we're going to try as much as we can to make this 5 10. And that can be at 10 by multiplying it by 2. So we are multiplying this number by 2, but for equivalency, we have to multiply the top number by the same value 2. You can see that 5 times 2 is 10, and this 10 will automatically eliminate the 0. What you have left is 7, and 7 times 2 is equal to 14. The second one, you have 2, 2, 0 divided by 5. Do the same thing. If you multiply this by 2, it becomes 10. For equivalency, you have to multiply the top number by 2. This is 10, and this 10 will eliminate this 0, and 22 times 2 is 44. And the last one, we have 32 divided by 5. You do the same thing. Multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 2, right? This is 10, and you know that any number divided by 10 is the same thing as migrating the decimal point backward once so we have a, a decimal point here naturally so you bring it backward here it becomes 3.2 and 3.2 times 2 is 6.4 you see this is just the secret behind division of numbers by five thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues bye bye